This is the updated Spider Squad Swinging Tutorial. Let this play. Welcome to the Spider Squad Udon, the best web swinging experience. I should know, but I swing from webs, not Udon. I mean, you know, those are good, thick, easy to grab a hold of, but stretchy. It's hard to calculate for stretch. Uh, okay, so that was the uh, PlayStation 4 <coughs> guy, if you didn't know that. So right here is the uh, thing. Moderations, reserve, blah, blah, blah. kick players do not have big avatars. I said this last video. Large avatars would be kicked. No harassment, so anti-LGBTQ stuff, threatening, and discrimination, stuff like that. Do not do that. You will get banned from this world. Okay, so obviously this is like the mini tutorial. Reach behind your head, grab the web shooters, or press E on desktop. Obviously we're not on desktop. If you are, then cool. Pull your triggers, obviously. And this, this game has been updated. <clears throat> I'll tell you that this game has been updated, so this will be different. Yeah, so obviously I'm just showing off right now. So enter. Yes, obviously I want to enter this game. This game's amazing. So I fool around here. Enter. So right here you have all the avatars. It's been updated. Cool, right? Mirror. You literally click the whole mirror and then it turns on and off. Uh, the avatars are nice now, I guess. Okay, toggle player thing. So like I'm showing you the hit trigger and grip. And then that's how you throw a meetup schedule. So you have to join a server with Spidey, the creator, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, 5.30 PST, 7.30 PM CST, obviously 8.30 PM Eastern, etc. Okay. For this, it's obviously the same thing in the tutorial. Yeah, there's a kitchen, which is pretty cool. And, okay, so downstairs, I, show, I just skip here. Downstairs is the... Uh, I, I like I like to call it a like the not so professional way on how to do it. I don't I never exit through the bottom. I usually exit to the top, which I'm gonna show you guys in a couple seconds. Uh, I'm just showing off the map here. There's that. So the top is where I like to exit. So yeah, I'm just showcasing the map because the map is actually amazing. The map does get updated. I'm not gonna make another tutorial because the web swing should be the same. It should be fairly similar, I'm assuming. Yeah, but the top is very fun because like you could jump on here. You could either go to the right or go to the left. I usually go to the left because I just like go to the left. Okay. Uh, right here I am now talking about the um, the bounce pads and something else I forgot. <laughs> so the bounce pads they launch you so high they're like pretty broken right now. Oh, and by the way, you have no menu anymore, so like no music, no speed, no jump. Yeah, it kind of sucks, you know, like bounce pad toggle and stuff. But the only thing that you have to toggle is player. But the um, the bounce pads are really, really broken right now. So they launch you so high in the air. I do not recommend using these for practice anymore. <laughs> As they would... Okay, I actually really like this because I actually swing here. Because sometimes when you're going too fast, you stutter. Oh, okay, this is what I do in this clip. I show off the helicopter. Uh, the the helicopter is now the only vehicle in this map so far um, that you can actually uh, swing onto. So I found that pretty cool. The helicopter has a hitbox of everywhere, which I'll also show later. So I hit the um, helicopter here. I show me flying around. It gives you some pretty good speed. So I talk about momentum later in this video. I will. Uh, the helipad lands right there. Sometimes it phases through buildings, so don't be surprised if you get caught up in buildings with this helicopter. So, yeah, the hitbox is literally everywhere on the helicopter, besides the propellers, because you cut the propellers, obviously. I try seeing the webs, if the propellers will cut the webs. Obviously, it doesn't. It's a VR game. Don't expect so much from it. The quality, obviously, looks like a potato that's blue, but, you know, there is no, like, uh, shading or in this game for Pocket Squares. So for here, I'm assuming I talk about either turning or what I prefer I like doing. So as soon as I showcase what I like to do with my um stuff, what the hell? So I usually jump off right there, then take a swing there, and then I either hit that building the blue one or I hit the big building and the stuff that has all the advertisements and stuff. So then I usually swing around to take a path like this. This is just a path I like taking personally. I just wanted to show you that because 
of that was the very first path without even looking at this um, game after the update. I do have the building here, sadly. Embarrassment. Okay, but if you are gonna take a path, go upstairs, like go up the stairs, and then go outside the balcony, because that's really where you're gonna get the best, um, like the best experience. Right here, I show travel time. This is a new feature. I thought this was amazing. The travel time is so cool, but it's really annoying to get used to. So you can see how the web travels. You're not going to hit, like, if you start, like, instantly hit hold on trigger and then instantly pull away like you're trying to zip away from a building, it's not going to happen because you have to wait until it actually hits contact with the building. So there's going to be a little bit of guessing work in here. I shall have a little bit of turning. This is the turning section of the video now. So turning is the same exact thing as the last updates you swing you turn with your right hand or you turn with your left hand if you're swinging to your right it's pretty simple i don't rely on it so much i usually just swing around the building because that seems fun instead of and it also gains momentum this is com nonetheless a useless feature i guess but right here i show um like getting up buildings basically on how it, one hand is less efficient than two hands so basically two hands is way more efficient than one hand so yeah and then um the zipping the zipping's broken the zipping is so broken i hope he fixed this but it's not the same as the very beginning you're gonna be using your hold down trigger as long as possible that's the only thing you're really gonna be using besides if you want to gain speed like go up the building quickly like I usually use that, I tend to use that a lot, like, as soon as I hit that blue building, or the advertisement building, like I was showing, the path I like taking, and momentum right there. I show that, I'm gonna talk about that later, but the zipping launches you. Like, bro, where the hell am I going? But, yeah. <laughs> so, swing right here, I swing the building right there, I hit the building because I'm bad. Just kidding, I'm actually better than both of you, all you guys watching this video, because that's why you're watching it, I'm assuming, right? right? No, no, okay, well, mood breaker Ooh, another cool swing around trick wow good me <laughs> um i talk about momentum right here i think yep this is momentum and um control with the web so if you're flying to the right zip to a building to the left easy as bye <laughs> i'm assuming if you know what um easy is so right now Oh no, that clip before was me zipping with just the tr halfway trigger down. Never do that. Never. Just don't do it. It's literally something you're not going to want to do. Only do it if you're like losing speed. But even then, just pull your web down like, mm, I don't know how to freaking show you guys. So like, if you're like onto a building, you're triggered all the way down. Yeah, this, but th by the way, this clip, this is control. So I'm fine over there. If I'm fine to the right, I hit the building to the left. That was a pretty good example right there. But um, this is also momentum. So if I'm flying down, if I'm falling down and I hit up, I'm going to go really high up if I'm going pretty fast down. If I'm going really far to the right and I zip, not only zip, but like grab the building and then pull left, it, oops, hit my mic. it's going to launch you to the left. That's how the momentum works now. Now I'm talking about this is a weird, really weird spawn glitch. So basically... Uh, what happens is the spawn will, <clears throat> um, it will just disappear. Like the building to my left right now, that's the building you will see. It's a really weird glitch. I really hate it. It's kind of annoying because you can't go in the building, but it's super easy fix. Literally hit your menu, then hit respawn, and then bam, the spawn's fixed. The whole map will change too, I believe. That happened in the last update. It was really annoying. Like the grass will literally just turn into stone which would change the spawn obviously in some of the maps like I see like two of the same exact towers right next to each other and that doesn't happen so yeah spawn is fixed I'm like wow and last thing this is what to not do never use big avatars can't stress this enough stop using it it crashes people's game thank you for watching